Hi, in this video we're going to review the negative pressure error, which is your dancing partner when designing a water scheme. It provides the answer to the question, will it work? But it is a very tricky and misleading error, so make sure you watch till the end of the video. We start with a very simple scheme to see what's going on. There's 20 meters of elevation difference, 1 kilometer of 75 millimeter pipe, and a 5 liter per second demand. Will it work? No. You need an additional 14.83 meters of energy, which is the negative pressure you're getting at the end node. In the blackboard, the system looks like this. The blue line is a hydraulic gradient line that represents the rate at which the pipe friction takes away the energy water started with. If the friction is too strong, the line will come crashing to the ground in a zero pressure point. If we continue the line, the pressure becomes negative. Now, all this is a helpful mental model. It is not what happens in real life. In real life, there are no negative pressures. The pipe will reduce its flow to adapt to the energy available or stop altogether if there's no gradient of elevation. So, how do you solve it? You can either increase the diameter of the pipe to reduce friction or provide more energy to spare to the system, for example, by raising the water tank, which is usually not so great as it increases the operational costs if you're pumping. Back to our model, we test these two solutions. Now don't go running just yet. The tricky parts that will drive you crazy start here in our next case. We give Epanet an impossible gravity problem. We'll know very well that water will not go uphill on its own, and this system will have no flow at the node. We've modeled a dam, essentially. And yet, Epanet sees no problem. It throws some negative pressures and keeps going. Epanet is mainly a demand-driven model. That is, flows rule supreme, and it calculates the pressures from them. And yes, it can be absurd, but it's very informative. The big, big takeaway here is that Epanet does not represent real life. It is a model you have to interpret. It is up to you to make sense of it. Negative pressures are just a construct. There are no negative pressures inside the pipes. So let's see now other cases. If you get the negative pressure message combined with this connected something warning, Check for closed pipes or areas isolated from the water source. They're caught easily because they're negative big time. Sometimes your system seems unresponsive. No matter how much you increase the pipes, there are still huge negative pressures. This happens when you have used roughness coefficients with the wrong hydraulic formula. In this case, I'm using the Hudson Williams equation with the Darcy Waste Pack coefficients. Once the mismatch is corrected, the model works perfectly again. One last idea is to beware of the negative pressures you don't see. Always place a node at the peaks of the pipe run and at any other place where you think the hydraulic gradient line may crash into the ground. These nodes allow you to get a pressure reading and detect negative pressures when Epanet is trying too hard to meet demand. If you want to learn more about designing with Epanet, check out my book. The link is in the description below. Hey, thanks for watching, and these are the main ideas.